All right, here we go. Hello everybody. My name is Tiffany, I'm the Tipsy Artist and we are going live today to teach you how to paint this really cute little wine glass. So it is definitely after five o'clock here in Oklahoma. So it's official, we can get started with this. Um, so this is our Flaming Heart. It's on our website, tipsyartist.com. We have a really cute little kit that comes with this. The box has all the supplies that you need. So you just open it up, paint with me online here and just get ready to have lots of fun. So this is the model. I'm gonna keep this up here. I also have an enlarged version of this art up here behind me as well. And then this is just, this isn't the whole kit. This is just a little sample of what comes inside the box. So it has a really cute little tag. This one actually says, make my day Merlot. So pretty sassy, very cute, little snack, some tissue paper in there, and it comes beautifully gift wrapped, but this is inside your painting kit. So really fun, it's a great gift idea. And then um, I've got all my supplies out already, brushes and paint and the little um, mixing plates, festive napkin that comes with it. I've got my bucket of water nearby. And so we're gonna go ahead and get started here. All right. So where's my wine glass? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, where's my wine glass? Okay, so here's my wine glass. We're gonna go ahead and get started on this. So I'll just be holding it up, propped up here for you. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lovely little glasses here too so I can see what I'm doing. That's very helpful. All right, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. We've got two brushes here that come with the kit. And so this is uh, my little family brushes that I have little bit, little buddy these two. Honestly, I use a little bit for almost everything. There is just a little bit of use with this, but we'll get to that here in a little bit. So, all right. Very first step is going to be to mix up our red that we're going to use for our heart. So we've got our cadmium red here, and then also primary magenta. Okay, so both of these equal mix on this, and Brand new bottle of paint. It will have a little bit of a foil seal here, so you will have to kind of lift that off. And I'm going to start by doing just a nice pea size amount there. That's all I need to get started. Make sure and reseal these while they're waiting off to the side because acrylic paint does set up and dry, so you want to protect your paint here. Now I'll be using the cadmium red. Another little pea-sized dollop here of that. All right, time to start mixing. So I'm going to use my little bit brush. This is the smallest brush we have. I'm going to go ahead and mix these two together. Let's get that up where you can see it. All right, there's quite a bit of that. I'm going to go ahead and kind of twirl that into it, kind of get my brush a little more tapered and clean. And then let's grab our glass here. When I start to paint, I do want to be thinking about planning a little bit with my composition. So you, do, you don't want to go too high. You want to make sure you've got enough room here for your flames. So I'm going to do my heart in the lower section, kind of the full belly part of the glass here. So right about in through here. Also, if there is a seam, it's very slight, but I know there's just a slight seam here. I don't want that in the middle of the design. So I'm gonna make sure that's off here to the side. So then right here in front, I'm gonna go ahead and start my heart just right about in through here in the fullness of the glass, right through there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a nice dollop of paint right here on the end of my brush. Again, making sure I've got the front side of the glass and again, about right in through here. So basically we don't have any templates on this one. I am just going to teach you how to paint. So there's a little bit of some drawing skill, but it's very simple, very appropriate for beginners. So I'm gonna start here by doing just one little hill, just like that, a little hill. Or if you're thinking about the alphabet, then think like the letter M too. So there is my hill side, then I'm gonna take that down to a point. And then we're gonna do the other one up. I make it a little bit asymmetrical. 
and oh no, I've got my music coming in super loud behind me. Hopefully y'all don't hear that too much. I had crackling fire going in the background and now it switched to Christmas, which is totally fine, <laughs> but it is really loud. All right, so I'm gonna do another little hillside a little bit higher up now. We're gonna take this down to a point, just like that. Let's take that to where you can see it. All right, now we're gonna pull this little part up from the bottom, up just like that. All right. So we're just getting the basic strokes of this down. So again, if yours is a little bit translucent, don't worry. Again, we're just trying to get that line work done. So again, line to the point here. Got a little bit of that fullness of the cup to go ahead and work around. Let's turn it to where there's no reflective light we can see. Okay, still holding the brush just like a pencil. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fill into the solid part of the heart. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the handle of the brush a little bit more over to the flat side of the brush and just fill that in. And same thing here from the bottom, kind of pull up. And you continue using the flat side of the brush as much as possible to go ahead and work that in. Holding that brush over to the side parallel to the canvas, that will allow you to have a more gentle hand. Allows a lot more of that paint to just rest right on the surface area. All right. So now we've got a nice thick coat of red there, and it may take more than one coat, and that's okay. Just be patient with the process. All right, so that is our beautiful little heart. That's a great starting point there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set this off to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out. Christmas time. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and dry off a little bit. All right, next step, we're gonna be working on the flame. So now I'm going to be using my cadmium yellow. And I'm going to be doing a pea size amount of that. There it is. All right, and then our primary yellow. Another pea size amount of that. So there we go, that's all we need, just a little bit there. Now I did go ahead and clean off my brush. So what I did was twirl it round and round and round, a little bit of pressure that helps release that paint. Then I do go ahead and dry it off with my napkin here. All right. Then we're gonna go ahead and mix these two up so it just makes a really vibrant, bright yellow. And then I need to go ahead and taper it off of the brush a little bit because I wanna have a nice thin point there on the edge. So this time what I'm gonna do is twirl the head of the brush into the paint, just like that. Nice fine point and then we'll get started on our flame. So I'm gonna be working this into the top here. So I'm gonna start in the center top of the heart and the basic shape of it will look like you make a parentheses, just like that. And then another parentheses on the opposite side. So just think parentheses, parentheses, and they can be a bit asymmetrical. That's actually a good thing with a flame, very desired, so that it looks a little more natural. And then just go ahead and fill that in. And then we'll do another one here on this side. So again, parentheses, and then parentheses, and fill that in. And then same thing here on this side, parentheses and parentheses, and then just fill that in. All right, and then one more little tiny one off to the side. 
and then again here parentheses parentheses fill that in and we're all good that's our first step then we're going to do another layer of color here so still using our little bit brush and this time we'll add some cadmium orange all right so we just need a tiny little pea size amount back with a little bit again make sure it's nice and clean go ahead and do a little twist here into the color that loads up the brush but also twist it into a nice fine point and then we'll do the same pattern so it basically just looks like little parentheses and parentheses but really tiny on the inside of that first shape that we did right in the center so again parentheses parentheses right there tiny tiny in the middle parentheses parentheses and we'll do this second layer on all of these little flames here and hello to everybody out there joining me today live welcome welcome i'll be answering all the questions and comments after the class but we're so glad you're here all right, so there's that. Next layer is going to be a little bit darker, so we're gonna go back to that first red that we mixed up. So we can actually just use this. So I did clean up my brush a little bit, or it doesn't matter if some of that orange actually mixes in with this. And I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of push that, twirl that into that darker red that we had from the very beginning. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing. It's going to feel like parentheses, parentheses, so on this side and then this side, but just basically coming around the orange. And there it is, just a little bit more detail there, another little layer. Also note that if you are struggling a little bit with a shaky hand, you can kind of Rest the weight of your hand on your pinky, and then that helps stabilize your hand while you do this too. All right, beautiful. So that is a first layer, second layer, third layer. So we've got, we've got a really great start on all of our flames there. Okay. Now next up will be some black detail. All right, so let's see here. We have some Mars black. Here it is. A little pea size amount of that. I will give you a visual. Here we go, a little pea size amount. And we'll go back to our little bit brush. Now, I would recommend just a teeny amount of water. So I'm gonna take my brush, let me give you a visual on this. I'm just gonna dip in a little tap we don't need that much and then I'm going to add that little bit of water to my black we don't want any excess water though so I do try to mix all that water that I just picked up and go ahead and place it into the paint the paint is very thick so this will thin it out a bit make it a bit more fluid and easier to control now I'm going to go ahead and spin it out on the head of the brush there Then we're going to do an outline. Okay, so we're going to outline this little heart here. Don't forget about your pinky. Great kickstand, like on a bike. Helps stabilize that hand. Continue on with that little thin outline around the outside edge. And then same thing here on the other side. Kind of lean into it as they say so it's like if you just kind of press into it that can also kind of help stabilize the hand a little bit too and then we want to lift off on pressure when we get to the very end make this a little bit more thin here so i'm going to go ahead and go back to pressure on my pinky 
and then kind of just pull this out to a nice fine point. Just kind of finessing that outside line. So there's our big thick outline around the heart. Now we have a little bit of an echo that's happening with that black line. We're going to do the same kind of curve, but my brush has become a little bit thick and full with the paint, so I'm going to go ahead and do another little twirl here into the paint, get it nice and thin again. And then, as I said, kind of an echo, so the very same line, just kind of curve it around on the inside. Same thing on this other side here. Right, there's my puppy dog. She's going nuts. <laughs> that's Miss Ira. When it's five o'clock, she wants to play. She's not used to winter. She thinks this is this is normally when we would go do a walk. So she's not used to this. All right, so great start. Now we're going to do an accent with our yellow. I don't want to forget about this. I'm going a little bit out of the black for just a moment to work back in our yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and take my little bit brush, pull into this yellow that we already have mixed up on our little mixing plate here. And let's twist it out a little bit. because I want to have that nice thin point on the end of the brush. So it's still loaded but nice thin point. And there it is all ready to go. And I'm just going to do the very same curve here, but just on the inside with that little touch of that yellow and then same thing here on this side. So just a little fun accent there on the inside of the heart. All right, now let's rinse out. Let's go back to the black. Let's twirl into that black again. Load it up. You might have to add just a little tiny touch of water. Kind of help thin it out a little bit. Twirl it in. It's all ready. Now we're going to do a nice little accent around the tops of the flames. So around every single flame that we want them to kind of pop out to the front. So we're going to do a fun little shape all around that edge. See how it's making it really kind of pop out to the front again. So we'll take this around every single plane. So that really made it stand out, a really fun little flame pattern that comes out at the top. Now we're going to rinse that a little bit. We're going to work on our little fun polka dots that come around the outside edge. Okay, so the critical point here is you want to make sure that you've got enough of your black to where it is a raised dollop on your plate to where you can dip into it and have enough on the end of the brush. So I rinsed out a little bit, but this time I'm going to use the end of the brush and I'm going to dip into the black. That's why it's important that there's enough to really dip into. So I'm going to dip into it, see how there's a nice amount that I can pick up every single time. And then I'm going to sprinkle these cute little polka dots all around the heart. Just kind of randomly go in and out. I do want to kind of vary it a little bit because we'll be going back in with another color. All right, so same thing here on the other side. 
And if you don't get it as big as you want it, you can always re-dip and then reapply in that same spot. Alright, so super fun. Now I'm going to go ahead and dry this off. Just do a little quick wipe here with our little napkin. And then let's mix up some fun lavender. Alright, so I will be using some violet. So just a little pea size is all that's needed. And then let's also get some of our titanium white. Do a little pea size amount here. There it is. And then we'll grab that same brush. We're going to mix it all together. It's so pretty. Now there's a lot of paint on the brush so we're not going to use that way. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of squeegee out that little excess by twirling it. And then I will go ahead and rinse out so that I can protect my brush because we don't want that paint to set up and dry on it. So it's all clean. Let's go ahead and wipe it off. All good. Okay. Now let's go ahead and use the end of the brush again, the brush handle. Let's dip into that lavender. And then we'll kind of alternate some of those really pretty little lavender accents in between our little black dots. And you can use different colors if you want. Some people might want to do like a really pretty um, lime green or come back in with a bright yellow. So you can certainly play with this and do a different color too. But the lavender is nice. It's kind of a subtle little difference between the black, not too overpowering. So I'll just continue kind of sprinkling this through. And if you want to do a little bit of a lavender accent inside the heart, you can too. It's kind of fun. And remember, you can always come back in at the very last part too. If you notice any transparencies, you can come back in with your little bit brush. Kind of push in more of that red here right over the top. Remember, too, to go ahead and lay the brush a little bit more on the flat side of the brush, more parallel to the canvas. Alright, so very fun and easy project for any time of year or for Christmas time in the holiday season or for Valentine's Day, too. That's coming up. Yeah, so really fun, and you can do this whole thing on the other side as well. And it makes for a really cute decoration um, on your shelf and super cute. We have lots of designs on our website. But thank you so very much for joining us today. We've had so much fun being with y'all. And these are, again, on the website. Tipsyartist.com is our website. But we just hope that y'all have a very safe and lovely time this time of year. And we will see you soon. Cheers.